let's now solve question number 6a this is uh, an internal choice based question 6a there were two questions in the question paper one question was on uh, as18 the second question is on framework for preparation and presentation of financial statements chapter 2 of your syllabus from our january 2025 examination in this question they are requesting you to prepare or they are asking you to prepare profit and loss account you don't have to follow schedule 3 format you don't have to do vertical format you have to do horizontal format but the thing in this question is the organization is not a going concern when the organization is a going concern we apply concept of conservatism we apply historical cost concept but the moment the organization is not a going concern all of these concepts will go we have to value every item in the balance sheet sorry every item in the balance sheet at net realizable value or settlement price or how to say the price at which it will be settled when we do this the change in the value in the decrease if it is decrease in the value of the asset it will become loss it will go to p and l and when you're settling a liability if you have to settle the liability at a higher price such excess amount that you should pay will also become loss if the liability has to be settled right now and if you are expecting to get some discount that discount should be booked in our p and l against conservatism usually if there is discount on credit hours we book it at the time of settlement here we should book that discount even before we settle it why because our going concern concept is taken for a task we are booking profit against conservatism we are recording assets at nrv fixed asset will not be recorded at historical cost it will be recorded at nrv we have done this in chapter 2 we did this unit you remember and here we discussed very clearly how do we value items when there is going concern how do we value items when there is not a go when it is not a going concern and when there is change in the value from historical cost to its replacement price settlement price or nrv such decrease in the value of the asset is loss p and l debit such increase in the value of the asset is profit and ulta with regard to liability can we start with the question see given below is the balance sheet of sky and associates as on 31st of march 2023 don't waste time on balance sheet read what's given after that first read the last line you are required to prepare profit and loss account for the year ended 31st of march 2024 to ascertain the profit or loss for the period and uh, now we will read the question additional information point number one the firm is planning to shut down its business with immediate effect going concern is not there so we prepare p and l revaluing all the assets and liabilities to settlement price or nrv the sale and purchase of the firm is like this sale is 8 lakh 20 purchase is 6 lakh 50 let's write this sale and purchase i am not just preparing p and l i am preparing trading comp p and l in my trading comp p and l on the debit side i would write opening stock which i don't know right now so right now i'll write purchases which i know purchases is 6 lakh 50 sales is 8 lakh 20 purchases 6 lakh 50 sales 8 lakh 20 done after these two items value of the closing stock as on 31st of march 2024 is 65 see usually our closing stock will be valued at cost or nrv whichever is less this is keeping in mind accounting standard to paragraph 5 but because my organization is not a going concern i'm acting mad i don't want to do cost or nrv whichever is less irrespective of which is low i'll value it at nrv even if nrv is more than cost i'll still value it at nrv sir conservatism that's what i told you in the beginning conservatism so how much is the cost 65,000. NRV is 120% of cost. 120% means 20% more than cost. Do you agree with me? So please identify closing stock for me. 65,000 into 120%. What do I get? By closing stock, I'll write 65,000 into 120%, which is 78,000. I've recorded it at a higher value. Did everyone get this? Paka. Come on. Let's go to the next aspect. What do we have after that? They have given the next point which says other expenses for the period is 25,000. Now I have to make an assumption whether this other expenses is direct in nature or indirect in nature. There is going to be no marks allocated for GP being right. I will assume that other expenses to be indirect expense. I would write here other expenses being 25,000 in my p and account debit side. Got it? What do we have after that? Deferred expenditure is getting amortized over 5 years starting from 31st of march 2022 
in my balance sheet i have here deferred expenditure of 9000 i am writing it over 5 years every year i'll write 1 fifth 1 fifth 1 fifth now they started in 2022 i am in 2023 so 2 years is over that remaining 9000 should be written off over 3 years 3000 3000 3000 do you agree with me that if i have going concern i have gone mad i am closing my business in next one year or it within next few days there is no going concern so do i have three more years to write off no i will write off entire money now only usually we would have written 9000 to pnl over three years now what will i do full 9000 one day year only my attach shall i write i'll write in expense deferred expenditure 9000 understood then what do we have after this after this they have given some adjustment with regard to remaining useful life of the machinery is expected to be three years this is basically they are telling us how to revalue the so how to depreciate the machine but we do depreciation when we are going to continue the business when we are not going to continue the business next year in the beginning only i will sell my asset right now only i will identify the sale price i will compare the cost value of the asset with selling price i will change the cost to selling price any difference will be profit or loss because 100 percent sure i will sell it if there is profit book it now if there is loss book it now are you getting it read this the realizable value of the machinery is expected to be how much 165 and expense of 5000 is to be incurred to realize the same so i can sell the machine at 165 but to sell it at 165 i should incur expense of 5 sale price 165 selling expense 5000 you tell me how much is net realizable value? 1,60,000. On the net, I'll realize only 1,60,000 from the asset. What is the cost of the asset? Actually, there, book value of the asset, not cost, book value. 1,80,000. So, asset which is there in my books of accounts at 1,80,000, I'll sell it at 1,65,000. By incurring 5,000 expense, I'll realize only 1,60,000. So, how much is the difference? 20,000 loss. Am I right? Book that 20,000 now only. Or in another way, revalue the asset from 180 to 160 to NRV. NRV is 165 minus 5, 160. I want to revalue my machinery from 180 to 160. When I used to do revaluation, machinery value will reduce. Machinery credit, PNL debit. That is like depreciation. In PNL account debit side, I would write here two machinery 180,000 minus of 165 minus 5. 165 selling price, 5, N, 5 selling expense, 160 is NRV, if I deduct it, 20,000 expense. What's after that? Come back, 6 adjustments over. See, so soon 6 adjustments passed by. Out of trade receivables, 5,000 is expected to be unrealizable due to an ongoing dispute. They were expecting continuous services from us because we are shutting down the business very soon. They are disputing with us and they might not pay 5,000. What to do? Bad debts. Bad debts or provision for bad debts. Provision for doubtful debts. How much? 5,000. Our debtors will decrease by that extent. Next, bank has charged a penalty of 2,500 for crossing the overdraft limit. Oh, you're in Lakshman Re Kya We have crossed the limit of overdraft. So, they have charged us how much limit? 2,500. See, when they give limit of 10 lakh, we should only withdraw 10 lakh. If we overdraw the overdraft, they will charge us penalty like this, 2500 expense. I have written PNL account only debit side. Next, the lender agreed to work of 50% of the interest charge. Wow, what a Devata Manasya. Here we have interest charges. Where is it? 8% on the loan I should pay. No, I have taken loan of 40,000. On that 8% is how much? 3,200 I should pay. They looked at our condition. They are like, okay, you pay me 50%. Saku. In 3,200, we should pay only 1,600. So, 1600 is the expense that I would write here. If they would have not told this, I would have written full 40,000 into 80 percent, 3200 as my interest expense. I am not writing the foregone percent, I am writing the expense that is supposed to be paid, not paid, liability. If in case they had asked us to prepare balance sheet, in that balance sheet, I would have written outstanding interest 1600. I am supposed to pay. Understood this? Alternatively, instead of writing 1600 as expense, we can write 3200 as expense and 1600 as income. It's the same. Then what do we have? Sixth one done, seventh one done, eighth one done, ninth one done. Last point, 10. Parmi is expecting discount of 4000 on creditors in full and final settlement. 
I'm supposed to pay my creditors. No, I would have paid after two years or three years. But because I'm shutting my business down, I would pay them immediately. They're so happy that they're giving me 4,000 discount. They have not given me discount yet. They are going to give. I am expecting. I will still record it. Sir, but isn't this against conservatism? Yes, it is against conservatism. It is against going concern also. No. So once you cross the line, you cross all the lines. Okay. We will book that profit of 4,000. That's it. They have asked us to prepare PL. PL is ready. Ta-da. So opening stock is zero. Oh, opening stock is given or not? It's given. This balance sheet here is beginning 31st of March 2023. So this is our opening stock. How much is the opening stock here? 1,15,000. Closing stock what is there? Have they given any closing stock information? Closing stock is 65,000 into 120%. We have it. We have taken. Come on. Identify our gross profit. 820 plus 78, 898. 898 minus 7,65,000. 33000 is our gross profit. I bring it down here. You can skip the trading p &L bifurcation. You can treat them as one single problem and still do. 1,37,000 here, 1,37,000 here, you tell me how much is the net profit to be carried down, 1,37, minus 25, minus 9, minus 20, minus 5, minus 2.5, minus 1, ta-da, 73,900 is your profit, 